In this video lecture, we'll learn how to write a regular expression for a given language with the help of some examples. So here, uh, the question is, we have to obtain a regular expression for the following languages over input alphabet A and B. So when we say input alphabet A and B, that means sigma is A and B. Okay. And uh, first one is string whose length is exactly 2. So here sigma is equal to a and b and string whose length is exactly 2 string of length at least 2 string length at most 2 string of even length and string of odd length okay so one by one we will see how to write a regular expression so first one is string whose length is exactly 2 so in my previous video i have explained how to write a regular expression if the language contains all the string over input alphabet a b of any length so we have seen a plus b star was the regular expression for um, language which contains string of any length over input alphabet a and b so this is this is string this is string length 0 or more and when uh, we put 0 for star it will be epsilon so string of length 0 is basically epsilon when we put 1, string of length 1. When we put 2, string of length 2. When we put 3, string of length 3 will be accepted. Now, uh, here we have to write a regular expression uh, for the language which contains all the string whose length is exactly 2. So, first we have to write the language. Okay. And the language uh, which contains all the string whose length is exactly 2. So, what all possible string will come that we need to write. So, from input alphabet A and B, how many string of length 2 is possible? A, 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 B, B, A and B, B. So, these are the only four string possible with input alphabet A and B of length exactly 2. So, since you can see here the language is finite. Why it is finite? Because we have only four string of this language, four valid string of this language. So, the regular expression, if whenever the language is finite, regular expression can be obtained by just union of all the strings. So, when I say union means we need to write the symbol plus. So, here the regular expression will be union of all this. Because the language is finite, I can just write a regular expression by taking union of all the string. Okay. And then I will take A common here. It will be A plus B. I will take B common here, it will be A plus B and this is nothing but A plus B, A plus B. So, this is a regular expression for a language which contains all the string whose length is exactly 2. So, this is the regular expression. Now, if I say the language which contains all the string whose length is exactly 3, okay, then it will be, if I say a length is exactly 3, if I say length is exactly 3. So, that means it will be A plus B, A plus B and A plus B 3 times. And uh, when we say uh, length is exactly 4, then A plus B, A plus B, A plus B, A plus B, 4 times A plus B will come. So, this is how we can write a regular expression when the language is finite. Now, let us take the second problem, string of length at least 2. So, what is the meaning of string of length at least 2? So, when we say string of length at least 2 means the length can be 2 or more than 2. Okay. And since it is infinite because here when we say string of length at least 2, so that means this is the second one. Uh, the length can be length can be either it can be 2 minimum it will be 2 3 4 and so on and just now we have seen so the language will be what the language will be uh, string or the, all the string with length at least 2 a a a b b a b b and then a a a a a b b a b or 4 a's or a b a b means any uh, combination of a and b where the length is at least 2 and more than 2 anything is fine 
So we have seen string of length two. What was the regular expression? A plus b. A plus b was the regular expression for string of length two. Okay. So this was a regular expression of for string of length two. So now, now if I write a plus b star. So this is what this is string of length zero or more. So this is string of length zero or more so when we say string of length zero or more so when it is epsilon we put zero it will be epsilon so we will get string of length two when i put one here so here with this it anyway this will always be there so this will give me string of length two and this if i put one here this will give string of length one so two and one it will be three when this is 2, this will give me string of length 2. This is also 2. So, I will get string of length 4. When this becomes 3, this is 2. I will get string of length 5. When this becomes uh, uh, this becomes a 4, this is 2. will give string of length 6. So, at least 2 and any uh, more than 2, everything will be accepted by this regular expression. So, this will be the regular expression for string of length at least 2. Now, uh, the third one was... Uh, string of length at most 2. So, when we say at most 2, so that means string of length 0, string of length 1 or string of length 2 is fine. Okay. And this is also finite in nature. Why? Because either, so the language will be, the language will be string of length 0 means epsilon is a valid string. String of length 1 means only A or only B. String of length 2 means A, 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 B, B, A and bb is accepted now uh, we we can uh, we know that this is finite so whenever the string is uh, whenever the language is finite the regular expression can be obtained by union of all the valid string so it will be it will be epsilon plus a plus b plus a a plus a b plus b a plus b b so now here if i take a plus b, I can write this as a plus b plus null, a plus b plus null, okay. So, a plus b plus null, so when I multiply, see, when I, when I take, multiply this a with this a, I will get string of length 2. When I multiply this a with b, I will get string of length 2 and when I multiply this a with null, I will get string of length 1. Same way, b a will give me string of length 2. B, B will also give me string of length 2. B, Null will give me string of length 1. Null, A will give me A. So, string of length 1. Null, B will also give me string of length 1. And Null, Null will give me string of length 0. So, we can see uh, if I expand this, I am going to get this only. So, this will be the regular expression for a language uh, which contain all the string of length at most 2. So, it's epsilon will give me string of length 0 this will give me string of length 1 and all these are string of length 2 now we'll take the next problem next one was set of all the string of even length so set of all the string of even length so string of even length so we know that this the language is infinite okay so when we uh, so we cannot directly apply union so here you can see in this example we just added all the valid string because the language was finite. When it is infinite, we cannot directly apply union. So, maybe we should find out some other way. So, first of all, set of all even length string can be find out by set of all string of length 2. Okay. So, if I say a plus b, a plus b, this is what string of length. This is string of length 2. Okay, and now if I repeat set of all string length 2 over and over, over and again, and I am going to get set of all the string of even length. So, if I put star here, what will happen? When the star is 0, I will get epsilon. And epsilon means string of length 0, that is also even length. When I put 1 here, I am going to get a plus b, a plus b. So, string of length 2. When I put 3 here, a plus b, a plus b. A plus, uh, so 3 means 6, uh, I am going to get 4. Sorry, 2 if I put, I am going to get string of length 4. 
If I put three here, I'm going to get string of length six. If I put uh, four here, I'm going to get string of length eight. So all even length string I'm going to get. So this A plus B, A plus B is string of length two. And A plus B, A plus B star is all even length string. Now, the fifth problem is set of all string of odd length. We know this is the regular expression for even length. Now, if I write, if I write A plus B, so that means I am going to get odd length string also. So, why? Because here, if, uh, if, if star is if star is zero, so this will give me epsilon and this will give me A or B. So odd length, string of length 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. Then when it is uh, 1, it will be 2 and this will be 1. So I am going to get string of length 3, uh, 3. When it is 2, it will be 4 and this will be 1. So I am going to get string of length 5 and all the with this I can get all the odd length string. So this whole thing is, this whole thing is odd length, odd length string. Okay. So hope the concept is clear. Thank you for watching.